Transmission received. O5 Council ID detected. Plane log now. Item number SCP-14 Object Class Safe Colloquially named The Concrete Man Special Containment Procedures SCP-14 is to be kept in sight in a chair with arms, preferably facing a window. Music should be supplied on a regular basis, preferably constantly. This music should not include pieces originating after 1937. A security camera should be present in SCP-14's room. Description SCP-14 is a Caucasian male, appearing to be approximately 30 years of age, with black hair, brown eyes, and a somewhat round face. Records indicate his name to be Robert Shetfer, confined in 1915 to the Norwich Asylum in Connecticut for delusional insanity, claiming that he had been cursed to live forever and was slowly turning into concrete in consequence. The asylum closed in 1937 and the patients were transferred to various other facilities. SCP-14 came to Foundation attention in 19 from rumors of a patient who seemed to be entirely immobile and showed no signs of aging. Further investigation determined that acquisition was warranted. SCP-14 is to all outward appearances a normal man, but he does not appear to age and shows no signs of possessing a metabolism. He does not eat, drink, perspire, or in any other way demonstrate life functions. He breathes only to speak and apart from his eyes and vocal apparatus, is to all appearances utterly immobile. He has never shown any evidence of pressure ulcers despite his position not having varied for several decades. Neither do his muscles appear atrophied. He can converse normally but shows little knowledge of or interest in events since his confinement. Addendum Note Frankly, were I to interview this man without knowing his history, I think he was a perfectly sane and well-adjusted individual who happens to be quadriplegic. As it is, I have to conclude that he is the ultimate proof of the idea that the mind rules the body. He thinks he's concrete and will live forever, and so he's as close to both as he can be. Somehow. Dr. B Doctor's Note Dr. B is kind of correct. It is mind over matter, but in this case, it's pretty obvious SCP-14 is a reality bender whose powers got out of his own control. He basically has locked himself into a curse, or a blessing however you guys want to view it. He seems to be able to still move. It hasn't taken over, he hasn't completely become concrete, can still look around, can still talk, can still breathe. Yet, if he's really concrete, none of that should be possible. Maybe if we were to somehow convince him, or give him an amnestic, we would see that he would revert back to his old self, possibly even die, given the fact that he is biologically still a normal man. I will be submitting this idea for review. Dr. Z, out.